So there is a new Minecraft update. Let's go ahead and load up the launcher and check it out. So it took a while to load up the new version. It was like it was loading on a potato. Minecraft Poisonous Potato Update. Oh, wow. This looks cool. Okay, let's check this out. So let's start a new world. Let's just call it Spontaneous. So I hopped into the new snapshot. It is called 24W14 Potato, which is very appropriate because it's all about the potato. You can see we got... A star chest here with our hoe, some bone meal, we got some potatoes, of course poisonous potatoes, which is what this update's all about, and the Minecraft video explains the reason for this. Poisonous potatoes. How utterly pointless. The worst foodstuff ever invented since unsliced bread. Boo go home, go home. For centuries, the poisonous potato has ruined the lives of millions, if not billions, of Minecraft players. When will the heartbreak end? How about today? Introducing the Poisonous Potato Update. It'll transform the poor potato into your new best friend. So please contact your current best friend and inform them that they have been replaced. Poisonous Potato Mobs. Green Rain. That's different. Potato Flowers. A Poisonous Potato Boss Arena and a terrifying new boss. You're in for a Root Awakening. A Green Lazy. I mean Green Laser. The Multibiome Wonder that is the Poisonous Potato Dimension. Portals that will take you to the poisonous potato dimension. Convenient. Potato shoes. Potato armor. You will look like a real spot. The potato staff. Potato refineries for the sophisticated potato connoisseur, obviously. And there's more. For all of you potato lovers on Bedrock Edition, you will find some free marketplace add-on content that potatoizes your Minecraft worlds. Is that healthy? I don't know. So don't be a hesitator. Go download the Poisonous Potato update today. You're the Poisonous Potato. It's time to sprout. Side effects of using the Poisonous Potato update may include uncontrollable laughter and an overwhelming craving for french fries. Use with caution and consult your local villager if you're experiencing Poisonous Potato creativity. Northern Stages is not responsible for any accidental Poisonous Potato related activity. So since poisonous potatoes were seen as one of the most useless items in the game, now they're one of the most useful ones. So let's see if we can get to this new dimension. Wait, look at this potato here. It has a face on it. But yeah, let's check out all this new cool content. And as you guys know, I've almost made an automatic farm for every single item in the game Minecraft, including poisonous potatoes. Now people might have laughed at me for making such a useless item farm, but now it is coming in very useful. So after much research, gathering, and building, I went ahead and built up my poisonous potato farm. Um, I didn't use a structure block or anything like that. You can see we're actually getting poisonous potatoes from it. Pretty sweet. So let's get over to that potato dimension. But we can turn our poisonous potatoes into potato eyes. And we can use these potato eyes like the ender eyes. And they can lead us to a new type of structure. Holy muggers, that is so cool. It's the potato portal. Oh my goodness, look at all the potato blocks. This is sweet. And up here at the top, we have this special block, which looks like some kind of shrine. Let's see if we can... Oh, look at that. Just by clicking on it with a poisonous potato, Let's see if we can get teleported into the new potato dimension. Oh, wow. It gives a new advancements. Look at that. Non plus ultra. Enter the potato dimension. This is sweet. Look at all of the potato themed stuff. We got bricks that are encrusted in potatoes. We got sidewalks made out of potatoes themselves. So much greenery right here beside this village. Let's check out the potato villagers. Loving the new trap doors and doors. Oh my goodness, you look kind of uh, potato-ish. You might have a spud for your head, but what are you offering? Okay. Ah, of course. He's willing to give up some of his poisonous potatoes for some paper. He's also going to give us some amber gems, not to be mistaken with rubies, which were early villager alternative to emeralds. Let's see what the rest of these spud heads have to offer. Okay, selling some good swords. Oh, look at this sheep here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, so potato themed. We also have tons of new blocks. There's pill grass, which is the main grass type. There's also this here, which is called cater stone. Very appropriate. It's all made of potatoes. Let's check out the wood types. They got potato stem. I'm guessing that comes from the potato trees. Ah, here's one of those potato trees. That will give you the potato stem. They also got the leaves, which go potato leaves, obviously. I wonder if there's potatoes underneath. Let's go ahead and check the ground. Of course, the whole ground is kind of made out of potatoes. What is this block here? Potaton. It's like stone, but potato version of it. Of course, the stems can be turned into planks, and those planks can be used to craft stuff. 
which offers a lot of cool things. You can also turn your poisonous potatoes into the actual poisonous potato blocks. You can put that poisonous potato plant onto your face and it'll talk to you in the top left hand corner. It says, alas, the potato dimension. Does something smell starchy to you? There's also this expired baked potatoes. I think you need to change your shampoo. Oh, there's a bee. Oh my goodness, it looks like a flying potato. In this village, there's uh, these kind of wells here and they have those portals and those blocks are called pedestals. Look at the mine shafts. <laughs> They're still kind of floating here. Of course, we got the potato plants, which are just grown on the pill grass blocks. Look at this village over here. What is he doing? He got something cooking. It's a cooking pan. Some potatoes. Let's see if we can cook our potatoes on it. Oh, nice. It's like a campfire. This block is called frying table. That is sweet looking. <laughs> we can place it down. We get our own frying table. There's also a poison path. Oh, our potatoes got cooked. Now oh, they're baked potatoes. You can turn your different potatoes into different types of blocks, which is really cool to see. So our potato plant guy is telling us that pigs look crazy. Let's go ahead and summon in a pig. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like a walking spud. What is this here? Potato pedicule. What kind of plant? We also have the flowering potatoes, which are called potato flowers. These things do exist in real life. You guys ever raise potatoes? They flower. And after they flower, oh, they put on the potatoes. <laughs> There's a cow. <laughs> This is like a brown, a brown mushroom. Wow, this dimension is crazy looking. Reminds me a bit how you can customize worlds and you can use like the end dimension, which would put it kind of floating in the void. Wait, what is this flying down here? Is this a bat? It's just a potato with bat wings. <laughs> oh dear. It looks like the potato dimension has quite a few villages going throughout it with the paths and fences. It's really cool. Well, we switched biomes. Look over here. This is a uh, gra gravitator. <laughs> Very desolate. What the heck are these? Can we break them? They're kind of scary. Oh, they drop. They're called vicious potato. Oh, wait, this one just lit up. Oh, <gasps> no, but they're lighting up. Oh, I see. The particles shooting out of them. <laughs> no. There's these blocks here. I don't know if they're like cactuses. Block of lime potato pills. Look at this crazy mine shaft down here. What in the world? <laughs> That's right beside this village over here. Wow, somebody really likes to farm potatoes. There's potatoes among potatoes among potatoes down here. And what is that? Go check that out. Oh, flotato? Just all of this block? There's nothing here. Look at this biome over here, guys. What the heck? Potato sprouts. Oh my goodness. It's like dripstone, but it's potato sprouts coming out of it. That is so cool. And this map is also full of the potato tree. I just got an advancement for coming over here around the potato in 80 days. Wait, what is that? Oh my goodness. This is not a nice biome. What is this? It's like poisonous water. And it gives you the poison effect as well. Stop to check this thing out. What is this massive thing? Block of black potato pills. Oh, something hurt me. What is that? There's a creature there attacking me. Ooh, it's like a, a very ugly looking guardian. There is a lot of this biome. It is uh, pretty darn toxic with all the water here. And they just keep spawning in those crazy looking nasty creatures. Now, whenever you attack these creatures, they give you the wither effect for a short period. Oh. We got some loot from it. Toxic resin. Ooh, clouded clarity, fishy impurities. There's also a whole bunch of ancient debris here. There's also different types of potato pills. We got green, we also got gray, and there's light gray. Kind of like different colors of terracotta. We also got slime spawning in here and more of those crazy creatures. They don't seem to mind jumping out of the water. They're kind of like frogs, but also like guardians. What the heck, they jump on top of each other? What are they, what are they doing? <laughs> Together, they look almost like a guardian. Dude, they just keep stacking top of each other. I get some pretty big stacks now. Well, these weird fish are called Toxfin Slab. So I guess they're like jumping slabs. Over here, also notice this block. Let's see if we can break it. Powerful potato. What is this down here? It's called Weak Root. Uh, okay, let's see where it goes. Going all the way down here. There's roots everywhere. That's kind of cool. Like the potato actually has roots going downwards to the ground. Now under this area is this crazy structure. This is the boss they probably talked about. It's called Mega Spud Clunky Contaminator. Holy muggers. So it's like a humongous 
potato with eyes on it. <laughs> that guy has like the wither effect and it bounces like a slime. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can kill this guy while we're in uh, survival. He lives in this massive room. Oh! He just shot me! Oh dang, we also got the little guys down there. Trying to poison us. Oh, there's poison everywhere! There's a chick in the very center. Oh! I don't like that. Oh wow, it's taking a lot to hurt it. What? Is some of the armor demos? No! Get out of here! Oh no! Death attack potato magic! While heading back into my death, I found this shipwreck and inside of it had this here, which is called potato fruit. That's pretty cool. Oh, gives you poison. Here's like a desert whale, except it's made out of this charred baked potato bricks. Look at this village here, it has a maze that's part of their little housing thing. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's the purpose. I guess try to get from one house to the other just by going through the maze. Here you can see one of the villagers actually using the maze. This guy is just cheating by walking on top of it. So using the potato spuds, it looks like it's sending me down here. Let's see what's underneath of this. Oh, okay. I got another one down here. <laughs> and look at the spiders. <laughs> There's also different types of ores. There's a resin ore. There's a potato iron ore. I'm guessing that's how you can get some resin. There's also uh, these chests here. And this one here has a potion called potato oil. There's a bunch of these corrupted potato pills that come off of the big boss over there. This boss here has some other mobs in there, like big elder guardians. They're called Plague Well Slab. Let's take a break from the boss fight and see if we can find some potato related things to help us with it. You can craft a whole bunch of different stuff related to the potatoes. So let's make some of this stuff. So we got a potato pillar that does plus 10 damage to potato mobs. We also got poisonous potato hammer. We can do knockback 10. And potato-ish great staff of peasant. Oh yeah, these things really work. We also can make a potato refinery. Get some fuel potatoes we put into a potion. We have some fuel and poisonous potatoes and some glass bottles. We can make ourselves the different types of potions. We also can use a potato's block as well as toxic beam in order to make a lashing potato. This is so cool. It's like a grappling hook. You can shoot it and then you can pull yourself over up to it. Definitely useful in this battle here where there's so many things that you can hook on to. <laughs> you can just float in the air too. <laughs> just above the boss. You can also make enchanted poisonous potatoes that are golden. You can dye the different colors of the pills and use them to make the different colored blocks. Hot potatoes are made with lava. You can also make a potato battery, which is something you can do kind of in real life. That's pretty cool with iron and copper. And there's also normal golden poison potatoes. There's a poisonous potato cutter. If we put our stacked 99 potatoes in there, you can see we can get different types of food like potato slices, and we can even get the sticks of potatoes that are cut up. There's a bunch of different types of foods you can get, even including the fries. You can also make some potato armor using the different types of pills. There's also a poisonous elytra instead of elytra. As well as there's different compressed versions of the poisonous potatoes. You can get double compressed and triple compressed. And there's even one called quadruple compressed. But I got the potato armor on and also the elytra. And that's really cool. You can actually fly like a normal elytra. You don't have to go to end dimension to get it. And if you have the boots on and you fall, it will produce these new weird looking blocks which are called poisonous mashed potatoes and the boots will actually break. But it will give you stickiness and it will prevent you from taking fall damage which is cool. Oh look at that! Oh it makes me have footprints. <laughs> oh that's cool. And the cool thing is the poisonous potatoes also stack up so you can have a bunch of them. So you don't have to worry about continuing to have to replace them. And these sticky pads give you that stickiness which can let you actually climb up the side of blocks. Now they also have these big brains which are actually these big huge kind of mushrooms that have a little eyes and a mouth on it. They're pretty cute. That's supposed to be their face and this is supposed to be their massive brain. The Fletcher table even got some weird features. You can see it takes a feather, amber, turns into money, says fletching, doll, clarity, diorite, impurity into eventually clarity, and then like little shrug impurity. I'm guessing this turns the toxin resin into amber and then you turn those ambers into amber blocks. And the batteries are kind of like daily sensors. You can flip them from one state to the other. But we can put these potions into the furnace and cook them down. 
And that's how we can get some resin. You can also make those scary potato blocks that attack you with the wither skull. And there is potato head block, as well as poisonous potato head. Look, it has some glasses on it. And you can put this head on you. It looks like you have a cool potato head with glasses. There's also potato knowledge, which you can eat in different amounts. Let's take a look at all the different type of potato related advancements. Starting your saga, also putting on the glasses, which reveals the truth. You get different ones for accessing different types of food. Sweet potato talker, said potato over 99 times. A salty snack, chips versus crisp. Let's debate, begin. Eat poisonous potato fries. There's one for the taters. It says do as the PPP demands. It's all the poisonous potato gourmet. You need a bunch of variations of the potato. Bring home the corruption. So I guess if you bring that corruption piece back. Visiting all potato biome. Reheat potatoes too many times. <laughs> Turn to charcoal. Killing good craft potato pillar. Peel all things. Peel a block. Potato sheep. Peel a poisonous potato. Chest plates of an entity. So I guess it's kind of like a shear. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, so you can use it on the grass and you can get the potato pills. There's also two for refining the potatoes down into oils. One for making the boots, it says these boots are made for sliding and that's just what they'll do. Then you can lubricate items and watch them slide around just like ice. Another one, how far can you go? We Lubricate item 10 times, lubrication bonanza. More types of foods down here. Avoid getting hungry by eating your worn poisonous potato chest plate. Get peeled by another player using a potato pillar while wearing poisonous potato chest plate. A lot of advancements to try out. And my armor just ate itself up. Now staying on top of these batteries <laughs> also zap you. I'm guessing the PvP is a poisonous potato plant. So you have to listen to this thing. So under the center of this is those spawners for those creatures. No wonder they're causing a bunch of havoc. Looks like there's actually a tunnel system underneath here. Oh my goodness! They spawned in zombie mobs! They're potatoes. Each time he's going through different phases. And this time he spawned in some arachnids, as it says in the boss bar. And only by defeating the mini bosses can you go back to hurting the main boss. It's actually quite tricky. Oh, look at that. It spawned a bunch of strays. But they're potato strays. Okay, now he's spawning creepers. Potato creepers. And the potatoes are getting smaller too, I think. I think the actual boss is getting smaller. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's getting smaller. Oh, oh, piglin brutes. No. So this is like a real boss battle. Only once you destroy his minions can you attack him. Oh, there's some more in here. Oh, look how small the boss is now. He moves really fast too now. If you're just trying to redirect his fireballs to damage him, it's harder because he's smaller. Oh, he's so many gas! Look at all the gas! Look how small he is now! He's so small! Oh my god, he moves so fast! <laughs> okay, he's over here. It's a good time to use our lashing. Oh my goodness! What in the world? They're giants and they're all purplish. Oh, there he is! He's so small! The only way to hit him is by redirecting his fireballs. He's over here now. Oh, he's so close to being dead. Awesome, we defeated it. So when killed, it did drop Potatus Great Staff of Peasant. And the poisonous potato says to use this staff on a composter, which is different than this one, which you can actually craft with the blaze rod and poisonous potato, which is a poisonous potato hammer. So it wants us to use this staff on the composter. It says, I can't believe you fell for that. That's really the ultimate staff. And now it's halfway composted into bone meal. So we just ended up throwing into a composter, which I guess you can't normally do with poisonous potatoes. Since I made a fool out of you, Ray's. Oh my goodness. Since April Fools, it's in completion time. So that's how you actually beat this dimension, is by just listening to it. So it's really cool that people can actually try to speed run this and try to get the lowest time. And even has a cool little timer on screen so you can see exactly how long it took you. Though I think it kind of glitched out when I removed it and when it's also going into creative mode. The ending is really funny because they're kind of making fun of that people want uses for the poisonous potato. But even when they gave this poisonous potato a whole bunch of different uses, they're all somewhat useless uses. They just often will give you poison or they just end up with something that you really don't need. And the ending's even you getting tricked into destroying your staff just because the talking potato said so. 
They also added in some new paintings. Well, this one's called Tasty Shape. And this one's called Self Portrait, just a potato. This one's called Potato, massive flying potato. Must kind of represent the islands that we're currently living on. This one's called the Spotlight, and it's a big one with a bunch of different types of colorings of potatoes. Hot Potato, which is a really big one. Instead of a skull that's burning, it's a potato that's burning. This one's called This Is Not A Potato. I guess it's because it's a poisonous potato. And that is, I think that's the biggest painting there is in the entire game. That's like double the size of the other one. That's crazy huge. And this one's called The Treachery Of The Potatoes. Okay, that one's really big. It's even down in the water. I think that one's even bigger than the other one. Just a big old poisonous potato. That probably kind of foreshadows that the poisonous potato is going to trick you. They also have authors, so this is like Mr. Potato. This one here is made by Chris B. There is these portals that you can light here inside the room. Oh, it takes you to the end portal. Oh, wow. I guess you could go to the normal end dimension too if you want to. That was a really fun boss battle, and you can see that there is uh, some special eggs. You can summon in these different types of mobs. You can even summon in the boss if you want to go ahead and try to fight it. Overall, a really cool update. How do you think it compared to the previous ones? We had like the one block world. We also had like the portal worlds. I think it's really cool that they did an entire themed for the poisonous potato. As a lot of people complain about it being useless. So I'm guessing with this April Fool's thing, we probably still won't see any real use for the poisonous potato in the main game. Let me know of any other crazy weird stuff you come across in this. More secrets in Minecraft in this playlist here. And you're welcome to join my testing server which is currently running this potato snapshot. You can find the IP to that on my Discord. Thanks to these month's supporters and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye bye!